A few days ago, I visited Subtropical Swimming Paradise, located at Centre Parks Woburn. This water park is absolutely amazing, and in this video I'm going to share my thoughts on each of the attractions, the water park's facilities, and my overall conclusion. But before I do that, if you haven't subscribed, why not? I make theme park content every week for you to enjoy, and with all that said, let's get straight into the video. In terms of booking slots for this Subtropical Swimming Paradise, obviously you must be staying in the Centre Parks Hotel or Villa, two hour pre-bookable sessions are limited to three for a three night break, four for a four night break, and seven for a seven night break. From the 4th of October 2021, pre-bookable session times will increase to three hours, plus turn up and swim with no need to book will be available between 6pm and 9pm. Once I got changed in the fresh and modern changing rooms, I headed straight to the Wild Water Rapids. Come on, G. Oh my god! Oh my god! Now these rapids have got to be the fastest and most intense I've been on at a water park in the UK. This is an attraction that the whole family can enjoy and is honestly really fun to do with friends and family. These rapids are really rough and have no mercy bashing you against the wall. Next it's time to head on to the Typhoon Double Ring water slide, but first a quick promotional message. Subscribe, Theo. Yeah. Yeah. Theme park Right, let's head on to the typhoon. Mr. Theme Park Enthusiast is the laziest theme park enthusiast ever. And the reason why is because he's recorded, I have to carry this for him. So I'm gonna make a YouTube channel so he can carry it for me. Oh, Check it out, no. soon to come. No, On the Typhoon, you can go in a double ring with a friend or family member. The slide has a few twists and turns, however, it's not the most thrilling slide at the water park. For people that are not into fast-paced rides, Centre Parks has an indoor lazy river alongside a wave pool. The wave pool is great and they come on once every 25 minutes. The waves are quite powerful so I won't recommend taking young children into the deep end while the waves are on. The lazy river is just a lazy river with a few waterfalls and bubbles, it's perfect for a relaxing journey round. Alongside that, the lazy river does require a rubber ring. Now the main slide at this water park is the tropical cyclone. On this slide you can go in a group of four.
This slide is amazing and what I've noticed is the more people on the ring, the faster you go. At first this slide isn't too bad, but then you suddenly head into quite a steep drop, then heading into a huge cylinder while waves soak you in water. For me, this is the best ride there. Next, I headed on to my last slide, which was the Twister, not to be confused with the Funfair ride. To be honest, I didn't think that the Twister was anything special, however, the second time I went on it, it was pretty fast. There's also a splash zone area inside this water park with various interactive water features such as a large bucket. Of course, it was quite tight trying to fit everything into two hours, however, I did have two slots. The time slots are controlled by a coloured band system. So here are a few more highlights of my visit to the subtropical swimming paradise. Subscribe, video, yeah. Yeah. Come on, G. I want it. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Welcome to the old Bernard Team Park and Team Park Takeover. All in all, this water park is amazing. It's modern, clean, and fresh. The changing rooms are pretty cool as the doors open from both sides, allowing easy access from both sides instead of walking all the way around just to get to the lockers. I would definitely recommend going into this pool if you're visiting Centre Park's Woburn anytime soon. There is a small charge when booking your slot to the water park of 10p per person, which is all donated to charity. By the way, a massive thank you to the channels who let me use their footage for some of the slides. I managed to get some footage myself, however my GoPro wouldn't turn on so I couldn't film any more of my session. Links will be in the description to check out the channels who kindly let me use their footage. If you did enjoy the video, consider subscribing as I make theme park content every week for you to enjoy and with all that said and done, thank you for watching Theme Park Enthusiasts and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now!